Houston Police Department releases body cam footage of a shootout that left one officer dead and another hurt last month. The video shows the moment senior officer William Bill Jeffrey and Sergeant Michael Vance were hit with a barrage of bullets while serving an arrest warrant to Dion Ledette. Jeffrey died from his injuries while Sergeant Vance is still recovering. The suspect also died after officers then returned fire. This happened last month at the Timber Ridge Apartments on Arrow Park Drive. That is in Northeast Houston. Our Marcelina Benito is following this story for us. What else came out of this body cam video, Marcelina? Well, Mia, the video is incredibly painful to watch. It's 11 minutes and 30 seconds that captures just the sheer force of firepower that HPD was up against on the morning of September 20th. And as we now know, it cost them the lives of one of their own. HPD officers knocked on Dion Ledette's door early the morning of September 20th. His girlfriend came to the door. Ma'am, where's Dion? Officers repeatedly asked him to come out. Dion, it's Houston Police. Let's do this thing. Instead, police say Ledette opened fire, sending officers scrambling for cover. It was a gun battle inside and outside. Hey, we need to get bit out. We need to get bit out of there. Officer Bill Jeffrey was struck by the hail of gunfire, fell to the ground at the door. Sergeant Michael Vance hit too. He is seen crawling to cover as the firefight went on around him. This is what we're up against, and we need to do something about it. Investigators say Ledette was able to fire off more than 30 rounds in under 2.6 seconds. You can hear that rapid fire in the body cam footage. This tiny illegal switch that police say was on Ledette's gun turned his semi-automatic handgun into a machine gun. And it takes your breath away to see how a simple switch can create a pistol that fires rounds like that. It's a concerning trend law enforcement is seeing in our own backyard. But I'm telling you, Houston proper is ground zero. The ATF says these switches are being sold in alarming numbers. More than 100 seized this past year. Initially produced in China, now investigators say they're smuggled in through Mexico. We want to identify the source of these switches in, in this city. It, it's out there, someone knows. HPD, ATF, and other partner agencies now working together to alert the public and focus on getting these auto switches off the street. This type of firepower in the wrong hands and bad actors like Ledette are incredibly dangerous. We should be clear, it is absolutely illegal to possess one of these switches, whether you attach it to a firearm or not. Doing so can land you in prison for up to 10 years. If you have any information about any of these switches here in the city of Houston, you're asked to call ATF, and we do have that number for our viewers on our website, khou.com. So Back to you. very small, but yet so very dangerous. Marcelina Benito, thank you.